Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate, or I go by Always More Sims here on YouTube, and today we are doing our first current household for the month of August. So, we're just gonna jump right on into it. So, uh, our house right here is from Scylla's YT. Um, there's only one thing that I changed in this house, and that was putting in like a converted garage bedroom. It literally takes up the entire garage space, but this was just an empty spot over here, and it's like, how cool would it be if we had like one of those inverted garage areas? So this is our currently our oldest teenager's room, but I'm gonna be completely honest, it doesn't really suit her. Like she's not this bright and colorful and kind of erratic. Um, it's just, a, I thought it was really cute and I saw it on the gallery, so that's what we went with. Um, but other than that, I think, oh, I turned this half bath into a full bath. And I added, like, toddler stuff. But other than that, I think everything else is the same. So... Um, I kid you not, I'm literally getting ready to, I'm like open, in the process of opening OBS, and my sim here has just gone into labor. She's in labor as we speak. Um, this is Vanya, is her name. She is the sim that, oh, <laughs> her dad's name, one of them was Merrick, Cillian. Merrick was the one who was, oh, was pregnant with her then. Uh, this is the sim that Merrick was pregnant with in the last generation. Um, Vanya is squeamish, jealous, and hot-headed with the soulmate aspiration. I uh, Also, like, normally I just kind of let it be um, for, like, if they don't want children, they do want children, they're neutral. However, she's a teacher. <laughs> she's in the educator career. And I just didn't feel like it would make sense about, like, for her to not like children. So I changed it so that she'd be neutral about having children, but not okay with being pregnant. The thing is, she doesn't, really, like, have any type of reaction to not being okay with pregnant. Like, she doesn't have, like, any negative moodlets about it. Like, if she were to be, like, not wanting to have children, then she'd have, like, all the sad, different moodlets because she doesn't want to be pregnant. But if I have that she's neutral about having children but just not okay being pregnant, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't, like, change anything. So, that's why that's there, if you're curious. Uh, but, yeah, she is level four of the education career. Um, she's currently grading homework because I had her take a day off for family leave. Um, because I had a feeling she was going to go into labor during school hours, and then it just gets kind of annoying, and she didn't. I guess, like, 6 o'clock, she's just now gone into labor, but anyways, it's kind of hard to see her, because she's got her, her head angled down there. Um, fair share of skills, all that stuff. Then we have her partner. This is Peyton, and you might have seen Peyton when we popped it here to look at my gallery. So this is Peyton. I got Peyton off the gallery. Um, Peyton's name was originally Robin, but I changed that and they are now Peyton. Um, Peyton, I left the active self-assured bro traits that they originally had, but then I also added neat, genius, and cheerful. Peyton, um, was originally neutral about having children, but I switched their, like, feelings about it with Vanya's feelings about it so now Vanya is the neutral one and Peyton is the one that doesn't want to have children um and I don't know if like something happened the last time the mod was like updated but if I don't know if you guys remember when I first started playing with this mod and I had sims that didn't want children they would have like the most negative reaction to not only being pregnant if like they were the ones that were being pregnant but being around the kids even as the kids got older um like think of if you watched my rainbow legacy challenge um phoenix our founder did not want to like she had the does not want to have ch a child right now thing and she absolutely 
hated being around Koi, which was our Generation 2 heir, her son. She absolutely hated being around him because she hadn't wanted, she didn't want to have children. She didn't like being pregnant. So, like, any time she had to interact with him, she was even in the same room as him, she would get, like, a tense mood lit until he left the room because she didn't want to be around him. That doesn't happen anymore. Um, my sims do not care. They also used to have, like, um, bad, uh, thing sentiments in their profiles, and now they don't. <laughs> like, they just don't care. They're unhappy as long as, a, as their partner is pregnant or themselves is pregnant. And once the baby is born, and then once, like, that mood, like, goes away, they just don't care. They're like, oh, great, children. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what happened, but anyways. Um... Peyton is in the astronaut career, uh, level five, uh, was doing pretty well, and then I had, like, a pop-up, and I, I guess, clicked the wrong thing, and we had a medium performance loss, so we're not doing too hot anymore. They have the party animal aspiration, which I have not changed, and they also just started a midlife crisis, like, yesterday, so, um, oh, I haven't even looked at this. Casual woohoo three times and get divorced. Oof. That would be kind of fun though. <laughs> Anyways, uh, moving on to the kids. So this is our eldest. This is Arden. Arden is neat and a glutton. She is the one that has the the garage converted bedroom. Uh, um, Arden has the master chef aspiration. She is currently a C student. Excuse you. Uh, and. Yeah, Arden does not currently have a significant partner, like a significant other, just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, then we have our middle child, this is Julietta. Uh, Julietta has that practice makes perfect trait from the reward logins um, for like June. Uh, I still have no idea what this trait does. I have not seen it accomplish anything. <laughs> so... Uh, she has the rambunctious camp aspiration. Let's see. She was a B student. Today is actually her birthday. So we're going to age her up here once the baby's born. Um, and then we have our youngest. This is Kaya. So we have all three girls as of right now. It is also Kaya's birthday. Uh, Kaya is also cautious. Also frequently sneezes and is a free air tinkler. So Kaya has a really, has bad control of her bodily functions. <laughs> um... But yeah, she's going to age up into a toddler. Also, I do want to say, I made kind of like a joke in the last generation. I'm like, watch, you know, our heir is going to be born and she's going to be um, blonde because all of Vanya's siblings were gingers. And I was like, this is how it's going to work. So I really want my sim to be a ginger and then she's going to be born a blonde and she's going to be the only blonde out of all the kids. She wasn't. She was actually born a ginger. Um... And you know what? I'm not sure what our heir will be, if they will be a platinum blonde like Peyton, or if they're going to be a ginger like Vanya. I'm not really sure, because normally the ginger is like super, like a super dominant physical trait, it feels like, because I feel like my sims, like if there's a ginger parent, the children normally tend to be gingers, but the platinum blonde is also a very dominant hair color, so I don't, I don't know. Uh, then we have our cat. This is Cyclone. Cyclone is an elder. He's an old man. Uh, he's kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. The amount of times that this cat has knocked trash out of the trash can. Like, I would be, you know, <laughs> if I had a dime for every time this cat knocked over the trash can, you know, I could probably go on a cruise or, you know, some, I could go to Disney World because that's ridiculously expensive, you know? Like, he just tips it over all the even when I scold him for it, and I'm pretty sure he's technically trained to not do that, he still does it. it drives me nuts. Uh, but anyways, um, I think that's it for the family themselves. If we take a look at the family tree, so Merrick has unfortunately passed away, but Cillian is still alive. Um, let's see, Finnick, no, Jayla. Jayla was the oldest. Jayla. I could have sworn Jayla had a kid. And Jayla had a girlfriend, too. 
Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways, Finnick got married to Sophie, and they have Aliana together. Um, then there's the twins, so Althea married Diana and had Mabel, and then Anaya, yeah, Anaya had, or married Juliana and had Sierra. Um, so I think that's everything, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will try to get another generation recorded. We'll just see how that goes. Um, if I don't get around to it, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel. I have my Twitter, both linked down in the description below. If you'd like to check either of those things out, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, but there's also a possibility I'll see you guys here in just a second. So, like, either way, bye. Hey guys, welcome back to the next generation of the My Sims 4 current household. So, really quick, I just want to say it sounds a bit different. Um, I recently moved into my own office. I was recording in my bedroom and now I'm in an office. Um, and I got a new desk and the microphone will only clamp to the right side of the desk instead of to the left. So I know that in the past I've kind of sounded like I was coming more from the left, which I really tried to work with, but I, I know it is true and as embarrassing as it is. Um, but now you guys are coming from the right. So, you know, I, I gave... I, I let you listen to me from the left, serenaded you from the left, now I will serenade you from the right. Um, but anyways, I just want to get that out of the way in case you're like, whoa, wait, you went from being over there to over here now. Moved office, moved into an office, had to move the mic, the mic is now on my right. Anyways, I'm with the next generation of our current household. So jumping on into it, our house is right here. Um, by Bluey1122, I won't lie, I love their, their username, I'm a big Bluey fan myself, um, I nanny, if you didn't know, and that, if, like, I ever get to choose what the kids are watching, I will put on Bluey every single time, it is so stinking cute, and it's not, like, most kids shows will irritate me, not Bluey, I could watch Bluey till the cows come home, so, anyways, another side rant we're done with okay um the house for the most part is how it came um i did make a couple of changes though i gave them an ensuite um so originally this little bump out was not here this wall was just flat off the back of the house but i rearranged that and i did change their bed just because i wasn't a fan of the one they had um there also were two toddler chairs here i switched those with adult chairs and I think there was a dresser maybe and I gave him a desk um I've got some toddler stuff placed because we have a toddler but other than that I think everything is the same I might have put the no I don't mm, no I don't think I put no yeah I think everything else is the same so jumping right on into it unfortunately it is cold in the house so our sim here is complaining this is Brayson. He is our heir. He's the heir that Vanya? Was Vanya the one that was pregnant? I believe so. Um, that Vanya was pregnant with in the last part. Uh, he looks a lot like his other parent, Peyton. Looks so much like Peyton. Um, Brayson was originally ooh, mean creative and self-assured and has gained neat and cheerful. Uh, he has the painter extraordinaire aspiration. He is in the painter career. I'm sure you probably saw that coming and has his fair share of skills. Um, he's also got some tattoos. You can kind of see them. Um, and yeah, then we have his lovely wife who has her eyes closed. There she is. Um, this is Leora. Leora is heavily pregnant. Uh, I will say her outfit is not the most pregnancy friendly, but it is what she was wearing. Uh, she was originally family oriented, romantic, and cheerful and has gained the neat trait. She is a vanilla sugar sim, as I'm sure you also saw coming. Um, let's see. 
right here. So I did not change her outfit. I didn't even change her hair. Just changed her name. Um, I thought about changing her outfit, but I was like, mm, nah, it's okay. It's it's cute, just not when she's pregnant. <laughs> um, I did change her shoes though. She's wearing boots instead of high heels. So yeah, Leora is a sales per salary person. Sorry, salary person. Uh, has the big happy family aspiration. Also has her fair share of skills. And yeah. So then sitting right next to Leora is their oldest. This is Halston. Halston is a geek and he is clumsy. He has the computer whiz aspiration. He's a C student, but he aged up on Friday. So he hasn't actually been to high school yet. Um, and he has... I spent his weekend finding him a girlfriend. He has a girlfriend here, Azora. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> She's, I'll give her her privacy, but that was Avalyn. Avalyn, can I see your face? There you go. You can just kind of see your face. Um, Avalyn is gloomy, uh, which I actually thought was pretty fitting because Peyton and our family dog passed away within like a two days of each other right around the time that Avalyn aged up so I was like gloomy is rather fitting uh, she has the rambunctious scamp aspiration she is also a C student because I think she aged up Saturday <laughs> something maybe Friday too um, but yeah then our youngest for the moment this is Lucan uh, Lucan is inquisitive he's also unfortunately destructive and a little singer not that any of that means absolutely anything to him growing up but Yep, and then we have a puppy. We got a puppy. I have no idea what kind of puppy she is. She's chasing her tail. This is Foxy. Um, our last dog is over here. Her name was Espen. I don't know what kind of dog Espen was either. Um, I think she might have been a husky, but she didn't really look like a husky. I don't know. She was built like a husky. We'll just put it that way. Um, and yeah, so I randomized that for this generation, one of my Sims would be unfaithful and I rolled that it would be Leora. Now, um, for once we weren't cheating with men, we were cheating with other women. Um, let's see, four of them to be exact. However, Katarina died really early on. And I don't really interact much with the other three because I just don't have time for it. I'm like, I'm doing well enough to get Leora all of her basic needs taken care of. And if I'm lucky, maybe get her career task of the day done. That now that they, And now that they have three kids, yeah, there is absolutely no time to go hang out with the girls. Um, but there are girls. She's got some side partners. Um... So I was kind of going with the storyline that because Brayson is mean, that it's my, my couples that like one of them is having an affair, they're never healthy couples. They are always toxic. But I kind of figured that maybe he like there was like poor communication or like he wasn't super supportive of her or like just couldn't really either, like there's not a lot of empathy there. like he's just rather detached that she went looking for like that emotional connection somewhere else like they've got plenty of physical connection ignore it that it says that they have you know they got <laughs> good connection there just ignore that we're gonna click off of it um but that like really strong physical connection and like she does love him but like he just can't offer her that emotional support and so she's gone and she's found it with other people um but you know she does love him i'm gonna go like they were they weren't exactly high school sweethearts they met right at the beginning of his young adult life stage so i mean <laughs> but um maybe we could go with like that their first loves or whatever and like she like despite the fact that he's not very empathetic emotionally supportive whatever she still loves him she has you know almost she has a fourth kid on the way with him um, they just, they don't connect how they used to, so that's why she has originally four side partners. Um, 
but yeah, that, that's that's really about where we are. So if we look at the family tree really quick, let's see, who is old? Kaya? Is Kaya the oldest? Kaya married Alona, Alana, and had Joy. I don't remember who's first. It's been a while since I've played, to be honest. Like, <laughs> was it Julieta? And I'll just go down the line. Arden married Eamon and had Kira, Zachary, and Tony. Julieta married Amalia and had Jillian. And then that brings, you, brings us back to Do. Um, <laughs> oh no, my light post! Got struck by lightning. I do really like this backyard. I feel like it is very tight, very cramped, but I'm also like pretty much out of any like 30 by 40 lots and that's all I seem to play in is 30 by 40 lots. So it's been kind of hard finding big enough houses that fit on smaller lots. So anyways, uh, I think that is everything though. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I do have my gaming channel and I have my Twitter both linked down in the description below. If you'd like to check either of those things out, I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.